I think I saw the 2010 Vancouver Paralympic Games, you know, watching the sled hockey team win a gold medal, so it was really cool. I had only been playing sled hockey for a few years at that time. To see those guys do something incredible, like on the international stage, made me want to do that too. Clean up a bit for me, Declan. So I do remember watching uh, 2006, the Olympics in Torino. I watched a lot of the men's and women's hockey there. It was a lot of fun because I was definitely into hockey at that point. But that's kind of the point where I realized that maybe maybe the Olympic dream was starting to, you know, burn inside of my uh, inside of my gut, I guess. <laughs> You know, everyone thinks about representing your country there, but you know, it's it's more than that. It's about, you know, coming together, everyone across the world, different backgrounds. Sports transcends borders. It, it brings people together. You know, the Rio Paralympics and Olympics, they, they brought everybody watching one uh, single time. We're gonna sing the national anthem because as we do if we were to win, we're gonna bond together because it's such a family atmosphere on the team. That's the coolest thing is to bond together in the locker room after winning. Just getting another chance to, you know, represent your country and your family and your, you know, community on the international stage is, you know, a huge honor. And to be able to do that, you know, at the Paralympic Games, playing a game we love, it's, it's really exciting to, to do that.